Today we're in Salem, Massachusetts, and we're going to be visiting film locations from the movie Hocus Pocus. Join us as we take you on a tour of some real-life film sets from arguably the most iconic Halloween movie of all time. Oh yeah, and we are bringing our black cat Ruru along for the journey. Let's go. We're Gucci. All right. Go ahead. All right. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Tucker. <laughs> and I'm Sammy J. And today we are in Salem, Massachusetts. So we've been here for two days so far. And Hocus Pocus, I'm sure most people who are watching, um, is one of our favorite Halloween movies, movies in general. So we figured it would be really cool to bring you guys with us while we take a look at a couple of the locations that were in the actual movie um, and filmed in Salem. So that's what we're doing. So we're actually driving to the Hocus Pocus film locations and we forgot the papers, our little cheat sheets with the info and the addresses and everything so we had to go back but we were passing this house and we thought it was really cool because there's just vines going up the whole house and I, I really like that um, but that's a lot of upkeep so yeah it's it's I'm like a little bit sad because when we plan this trip we're thinking three days we got this we're gonna get so much footage we can go scope out all these locations but what we didn't realize is that Salem is a touristy town too and there's a lot of traffic like there's more traffic than there is in our area so it's it takes a little bit of time to get to each location and uh, there's a lot of one ways so we're gonna do the best that we can to make it to each location that we plan to film today and hopefully you guys enjoy that. And obviously we're gonna probably stumble upon other things too, other than Hocus Pocus, so. Got that little touch touch. So also a bit of information, they are supposedly beginning the filming of Hocus Pocus 2 next month, and we're excited about that. I think the title of it is Candles though. It's not Hocus Pocus 2. Not really sure what's going on, but it's based off of the same characters, and they have not said whether or not they're gonna be filming in Salem, but that's the beauty of the original Hocus Pocus movie. Not only is it just a total banger, like one of the best movies ever. From 1993, mind you. Yeah, so, so we were only two years old when it came out, and we still watch it once a year at least. But it's one of those movies where it's not just based off of a place, they actually filmed a ton of the scenes in Salem. So it wasn't just made in a studio. So we're gonna go around to every location we know of right now and show you guys the real Hocus Pocus set. This is a, a big film set out here. It really is like ever, anytime we were like walking around to go to like the store to get snick snacks or something. We're like, is this just a whole movie set? Because it's so like unreal. Like I know there's like brick streets and cobblestone and other places too, but there's just something about the air here. I don't know, it's just, it's a feel. Would you agree? I agree, every house is original. Nothing has been torn down and rebuilt like that there, I can say. There's houses here from like, what, the 1600s, 1700s? That's absolutely insane, so. And we dress for the part, so check it out. Judge our costumes on a one to 10 in the comment section. We're about to show you guys some clips of them. Do it.
lost it? Yeah. Did it blow off? Mm-hmm. Look at this. As we've noticed, there's like a uh, hint. It's like really hot out, but there's a hint of witchy wind. As that was, did, like, I wish you would have got that in slow -mo. The way this I just blew it. was wild. Didn't get it. So like sad. it was like floating. I'll get you there. All right, so we're on the side of the town hall in Salem, Massachusetts, which is where the big like party was at in Hocus Pocus, like where the parents were there and they're all drunk um, and where they did the classic I put a spell on you. That song, which is like one of my favorites. So this is it. And we did show you guys briefly in um, one of the other videos, but this is a closer look. All right, let's get a big look. So here it is. And I guess just the exterior shots of this building were used. And then the inside was actually somewhere else, but yeah, they did film right here. So could you imagine an entire production going on right here and how many people and lights and just it food me, tables. Yeah, it gives me anxiety thinking about it. They probably had like that whole street closed off with trailers filled with equipment. And they're oh here my for just gosh. forever days doing that scene. And how elaborate they make one scene in a movie like that is crazy and you never think about how much work actually goes into it. No, we were talking about that yesterday with the guy in the store that we were at, but all the people that were at that party, I was curious as to whether it was just like a Craigslist claim for like actors, or like for people that were in this area, or they just hired people and those people had to travel to here, to Salem, just for that part. They just used those like extras. Guys those CIA agents that just walked by. Yeah, and he's got his Duncan, so. He, he knows. knows. All right, so here it is. Very rich, I mean. You wanna get out and take a pic, bro? Give you guys a little taste of the other side here. So, there it is. Location number one. We were gonna start at the Ropes Mansion, which was the scene of Allison's house, um, but we ended up here first, so we'll go there after. Okay, I know this specific YouTube video is about pop culture and a Disney movie, um, which just so happens to be one of the greatest movies of all time. But whether you ever saw Hocus Pocus or care about that at all, this area is so cool. The entire road is bricks and cobblestone all the way up going that way and that way we filmed some there yesterday so check that video out if you haven't seen it um and just all the original buildings from hundreds of years ago are here plus there's vampires in this town that's what he thinks but no joke guys i just saw a real life vampire no joke really cool here and it, I feel like a lot of not all but a lot of the locals are super into witchy stuff too and obviously love Hocus Pocus but you are a product of your environment so that makes sense moving on to, number two. Moving on to location two I would like to think so it's so hard to walk a cat though on a leash. They're always just. Ah. It is. You have to have a harness and it has to fit them, but cats are usually really good at wiggling out. They got everything for you. You know? Nice hat. But it's so, <laughs> but it's so cute. I like that. Look at this guy. Looking like me right now. Yeah. Same hat. <laughs> All style. You too. And the coat. The coat too. Hey. Hello. Come on, girls. Alright, so location number two. So this was Allison's house in Hocus Pocus, and 
they filmed, this is when Danny and Max, the older brother and the little sister, come here on Halloween night and they go trick or treating. And they go in there and they're like grabbing all the candy out of the big, big candy dish. And then Allison comes down and she's in like the colonial outfit. I'm pretty sure they do tours here, right? Uh, I guess just tours on, of the outside though. Ropes Mansion, 1727 it was built. But probably more famous for being in the movie than it is for being as epic as it actually is in real life. This is true. So just stand in the in the archway and I'll do an epic This has nothing to do with our Hocus Pocus tour, but look at this concrete mansion house right here. Just look at the doors as I walk by. It's an architectural dream. So crazy. So that was the second location on our tour, and we're now about to head over to the third. So see you guys in a second. Peace. Well, here we are. We're getting a two for one. The school house from Hocus Pocus where Max and Allison went to school. And they, you can see him coming out and he's biking and she's walking and they're talking. And the shot's kind of like from behind the fence. And the fence is in the shot. And they're like walking along, I guess, right here or in the park. I'm not really sure how they shot it. Um, but also, the commons, so that big circular gazebo structure is in the movie as well. Um, and then if you go around, it's almost like a three for one. If you go around this road to the Witch Museum, that's actually featured in the Hubie's Halloween movie, which is an Adam Sandler movie. Gold movie. And that's one of the only, if not maybe the only location that was actually shot in Salem in that movie even though the entire Hubie's Halloween is based in Salem like 99% of it was filmed outside of the city limits but let's just walk over here real quick we didn't get Ruru out but we're gonna get her out for the the three other locations Hubie Doobie so, yeah. so this is the Salem Commons Park Kind of cool. It'd be good for skating uh, with the electric boards. Not really would that. In the off season, because there's a lot of people around here. So this is the school. Phillips School. Created in. What so does it's that just say? a um, housing complex now. It's not a school, obviously. Yeah, but what is it? Can you read the year off up there? You can't see that uh, far. Let's see where you're talking about. Where it says Phillips School on the building. Oh, it does say Phillips School. Yeah, but what? It says erected 
1883. Guys, I said created because that's what I wanted created, it to say. <laughs> created. But it, it does look like it, <laughs> it does say 1883, so. Fun fact that I read too, that it was an operating public school yeah, on, until 1992 and they filmed the movie literally directly after that school closed. So it was like still fully set up like a school, although they didn't use the inside anyway. But it was a school up until right before they filmed. But uh, this is what the shot looked like to me. Kinda, yeah. That's it. All right, I'll see you on the other side. So these metal pillars are all in the movie too. So there's. There's, this fence is a screen used prop, technically. This is a screen used prop right here, technically. Alright. Let's get something that, like a saw or something, saw it off. Take a chunk home with us. The guy yesterday Sell was saying. Sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying, you know, when we found the sheets from American Horror Story? Yeah. If we would have just cut pieces out of them and put them on eBay. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next location. So here's the Salem Witch Museum. And there's like... So obviously it has historical significance within itself, but if you've ever seen Hubie's Halloween, there's a scene where they're talking inside the museum and outside the shown too. Okay, we're about to be pulling up to probably the most famous of all the locations. And that would be Max's house which is actually just referred to commonly online now as just the Hocus Pocus house. And the Hocus Pocus house. This is the one Rue wanted to see, so she's going to get out for this. Max's house and somebody lives in it so how cool is that right. this is it right here it looks like this is the coolest seaside cottage though yeah this is actually a really cool spot to just have a house in general yeah like the coolest spot yeah. ever all these houses are really really cool this is it though and then remember so they can have the nice little breeze coming off the water while they sip their tea. This is true. You're not yeah, wrong. Their yard's really cool too. It's Don't so you? nice. Chicky checker. Look, my nice. Look at this view too. Yeah. Wow. Super, super cool. So here it is. This is probably the most famous of the Hocus Pocus locations. See, this is the one we got to get the fam in. Fam portrait. Yeah. She's getting adjusted. So how do we do this? We might have to do it on the GoPro. 
and I'll set it here and then we'll all just get in and we'll get close to the GoPro but then have the house in the back. That's the Hocus Pocus house, Ruru. Oh, she likes the breeze and everything. She's smelling all different smells, right, Mama? Oh, she's so happy. She she's likes it. Do you think I'll like let it. you get a tour? As you could say, Thackeray Banks was my uncle. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I think you should let me go in the house. Yeah. Because I'm a princess. Oh, chicken. Puka <laughs> girl. Of course, we had to bring the black cat, little Ruru, to see all the hocus pocus stuff. Oh, Is she getting scared now? Alright, put her back. You think Ruru's been a good girl so far? Yes. Very good girl. Like, she wasn't fighting me at all right there. So she must have liked Max's house the best. This was definitely the best location yeah. so far. It's like chill here, it's not so crowded. <laughs> Bless you. Allergic to the sea breeze. Mm -hmm. So it's come to this. Pioneer Village is the setting of the beginning of Hocus Pocus, where Thackeray Binks, it, Binks is in human form, waking up, opening scene. He's in one of these little huts, and he comes outside, and I don't know, what's he doing, like his laundry or something? I don't really remember. Something, but the Pioneer Village is closed today. Uh, I think they make you pay, they obviously make you pay to go in it anyway, so I probably wouldn't have been doing that, but you can see. I have an idea. Should we creep up to the fence and then I'll just like poke the GoPro stick over the top? Yeah, extend it. Go on. Between. Come on. And we'll just get a quick shot of the village. Pink Panther sneak music. I'm not going to this. Yeah, you are. I'm not going to be able to see with my eyes, but you guys are going to be able to see. So there it is. Thackeray Banks. 
There's your house. So this is where they filmed that scene. So I could see why they used this for a set. Because it looks really old and really cool. Alright, that's it people. So we're moving on I think to the last location which would be the cemetery and it was used quite a lot in the movie um, and it's not actually in Salem, it's in Marblehead which is the town next to us. Look, they got batting cages right here though. They do. Ooh. Didn't keep up with it though. Rue wants to see the cemetery, that's what she came for. This is true. And Max's house she came for too. She seemed to like it there. She really liked the cool breeze in her hair. She's like, she's sniffing all the fishies. final film location and also the most epic so we just cruised through this seaside community here and just came up on this mass of rock and i just saw that i started to see the gravestones in here and i thought to myself that's the cemetery right there so Ru, are you ready Ru, you ready girl <laughs> I know that's right, chicken. She was napping because it took like 11 minutes to get here, so she couldn't wait. Princesses need their beauty rest, so. But yeah, this is it. So this is going to be uh, a lot of scenes were filmed at the cemetery that was supposedly in sound in the movie. It wasn't. It was in Marblehead. So we're here now. <laughs> All right, I shed some layers um, just because the weather is just insanely hot out here. Uh, but I'm going to deck myself out again because this is going to be an adventure. I just looked at the whole cemetery on Google, and it's a huge plot of land. So we're going in. Put my coat back on. I mean business at this place. Bringing the drone to it just in case. FedEx freaking pump it down the road. Going on, big dog. Well, what do you want them to do? Not deliver the packages? <laughs> They're delivering Rue something down to the end of the road. Yeah. What if we delivered Rue something? Mm -hmm. Alright, Rue, we know. So our options are carry Rue up the stairs or up this driveway. So here's what we're going to do. He said he puts on for his kitty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? I get stoked about this kind of stuff. Chicken. Wow. River, look. Look at this. Chicken, look. It said no dogs, but it didn't say no cats. Yeah. So. We made it here. Look at this. We really look. Yeah. yeah. Show us out. I think we saved the best for last. She's coming out, guys. Okay, so explain to them what this is. So here it is. Old Burial Hill. So we're not going to 
trek except for mainly on this path here just out of uh, respect to try and not walk over top of the burial plots if we can avoid that Whew, I'm out of breath just from that just the little hike yeah River made it River. Queen of the castle. So this is where they drive over. So I'm assuming we could walk up that way. Okay. Chicken just wanted to hang a little. I kind of wish I had a harness for her. I know. Because I feel scared, too scared to just let her down. Yeah, I can't be down there. Small amount of smells. She's so good. Chicken's too bad to let her go because she's just gonna run away, but she likes to be down in the dirt so she can play with all these little these flowers little that she likes to. No, she chew likes to on. chew on them. Yeah. Dandelions are, are uh, edible. Rue. She's trying to sneak enough so that she can just run. Mm -hmm. I'm not having it, Rue. Your too precious cargo to let you go. Too precious. She really likes this movie location tour. She does. Rue She's had a, a lot girl. of fun in Har in uh, Salem. She did. You're about to say Harlem. I know. I don't know why I say that. I did it before. Yeah. Rue, are you having fun, Mamas? You're so pretty. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, there's a little lake right here. Some trash. That's not cool. And then this trail that they this is really cool use kind of loops around and there's just a massive rock this whole underneath here of here is stone i guess and they built a huge burial plot there up at the top um, so they scattered the stones throughout the actual stones And wow, it looks cool. This is witchy weather. Witchy weather. So this is where, where they say it. Where the Nike cross trainers. Yeah. Check out the new cross trainers. Let me try them on. <laughs> Later, dude. That guy looked like me. Yeah, he did. Look how cool this is, though. There's like a little path. And the person's feeding the duckies. Yeah. And they have their dog. It's so nice here. This is really nice. Look at the little boat. Look. They're remote controlled boats. Yeah. This is literally a picturesque, beautiful film location. Whoever scouted this out for that movie really, um, really knew what they wanted like it to look like. Because this is for sure probably the coolest location that we've been to yet in uh, all of sound even though it's actually in Marblehead. But you can tell just some of the stones are dated so long ago, 1773, that this is a big piece of history for our country, not just the state of Massachusetts. It's kind of interesting to see what this is. I like how they have marked trails throughout This is cool.
do. River has to go potty so we're gonna head back towards the house let her out so she can do her duty yeah. head back out but uh, yeah so so far I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, we had a lot of fun making this and as you guys know we love movies specifically Hocus Pocus yeah she's not wrong but uh, we really do plan on making some movies eventually in our life at some point in time so we'll see where that goes but see you guys in a little On the stoopy out front of the house that we rented. Stoop kids chilling on stoop. Last night we're here. Hopefully Rue had a good time. She definitely had a good time. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video today um, of us showing all of the Hocus Pocus film locations. Location number one. My favorite would have to be the old burial ground cemetery. It was pretty magical to be honest and I got Ruru down on the ground and just That was a special moment. And just got her and was petting her and she was just trying to get away, really. Trying to eat all the grass. That's what she was really doing. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you got any suggestions of cool places to check out cool movie locations, um, abandoned places, haunted places, or just epic places in general. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below and let us know. Um, and yeah, if you liked our outfits, let us know that too. If you hated our outfits, let us know. Well, I had a whole different outfit on in the morning. Like I whipped this up like I don't know, five minutes before we left, only because it was, I didn't, I, I looked at the weather and it was saying like 70s and like where we're at, where we live, it was super hot and it's super humid. So I was like, oh, this is going to be like fall weather, but it wasn't fall weather. So I had to change, you know, and this guy, I don't know how you were in this, but I just did it. I did it for the, he did it for you guys. So for the epicness of the outfit. But uh, yeah, if you ever come to Salem, Massachusetts and you're a fan of Hocus Pocus, it's easy to get around to all the locations there all the addresses are online and it's just an epic way to spend less than half a day you could hit all of them and plus it takes you to places that you might not have visited like when we went around to the cemetery we would have never have gone there in marblehead unless it was for the film location so it gets you out of your box to explore more than you would otherwise but uh that's it that's it till next time guys and, and good morning or good night. It's good night or good morning.